I want you to take it down. From where? Your truck. My truck, my flag. Some people find it offensive. What if I find them offensive? You're going to take that down? It seems to me some things are worth losing your job over, Maggie. Yeah, 4th of July is over. Take your flag down, old man. It's always 4th of July at my house. What are you going to do with that gun? Don't get out of my yard, you'll find out. Then I can identify with Mr. Quinn's position on this matter. Why the hell is everybody so damn worried about losing their jobs and so little worried about losing their freedom? <laughs> that was part of the trailer for the pro-American film To Die For, actor and country music singer. John Schneider wrote, directed, and stars in this film. Mr. Schneider, back here on the Chris Salcedo Show. Sir, I'm glad to have you back. You know, I was talking about your film on the Salcedo Show on radio and on the, on the Salcedo Storm podcast with, with a couple of different folks. You know, I was going on and on and on about the trailer where we watch your character, man. He goes from just a kind of a laid-back guy who just loves his flag, a veteran, and then he gets put through the ringer by this woke society and getting his freedom stolen. What inspired you to make this film? Chris, I read a story about a year ago about a gentleman who uh, defied a restraining order that said he couldn't drive within 300 yards of the local high school with the American flag on the back of his truck. Uh, but he did it anyway, and he went to jail. You know, it was his, his way of sacrificing something for the flag that has given us freedom. Uh, his way of saying thank you to all the people who have died defending it, all the people who have been maimed defending it, all of the families who have lost loved ones because they felt the flag was worth dying for. I feel the flag is worth dying for. So I sat down and I was inspired like never before to write this film and and this, as you say, this, this crazy woke society, woke nonsense that we're going through right now fueled so many great lines of dialogue. Somebody asked me in here if I got the jab and I say, I wouldn't get that shot with Baldwin's arm. So, you know, we go, <laughs> we go, we go everywhere that, uh, that, <laughs> thank you, that people are afraid to go. And I don't understand that. That I, I don't understand why, why conservatives are, are timid when it comes to this. My, my belief is you can only be pushed so far. And they have pushed us so far that we have got to do something. The only tool well, I have, you... the only weapon I have, I'm a, I'm a, I have other weapons, but the only weapon I have that I can use publicly is my storytelling yeah. and this film. So uh, it comes out John, uh, told... day after tomorrow, Thursday, to dieformovie.com. To dieformovie.com. I'm going to get you to repeat that here in a minute. But you told my okay. producers that this film took 10 months to make with less than 10 people on the crew. Now, that is yeah. the definition of a, of a shoestring budget. Am I to assume woke Hollywood and would, wouldn't touch this pro-American film with a 10-foot Oh, pole? my gosh. My gosh. They wouldn't spend any money to develop it. Uh, they certainly wouldn't film it. They wouldn't distribute it. But my wife and I are fiercely and unapologetically independent. So we make our own content. We also distribute our own content. So when, when you watch this movie or any movie that we've made or listen to any of the music, we, right now, we are all in. If this movie doesn't work, we lose everything. But we've always been there. You know, I believe if you're not all in, you're out. So... This, this, look at that. Look, look at that picture. That, yeah, that is so inspired. Um, because he's not he. I talk about it like it's somebody else. Will not let that flag touch the ground. And folks, look that up. Look up why. I'm not going to tell you. Take too long. Look up why we don't let the flag touch the ground. Uh, it's so important that we educate folks. And like you said in the in the previous interview there. Uh, freedom of speech, freedom of peaceful assembly, peaceful assembly. We need to do that. We have been attacked in our, our likelihood of having conversation like you and I are having right now uh, has, been, has been under attack for the last two years. Uh, and not yep. unintentionally. You know, this was not a mistake. There's a book called The Art of War, and I quoted it several times in this film, uh, Defeat Your Enemy with a Borrowed Sword. Uh, it's where divide and conquer comes from. So we have been divided, and they think they are about to conquer. We must not let them. The United States of America and that flag 
is truly the hope of the entire world. We are still the only truly free people on the planet, and we must not give that up. Not one more ounce. Well, we cannot think, do it. Uh, John, that I, I think we're going to see the parallel economy is already developing. You're already seeing parallel economies on, the, on social media. And I think we're going to see parallel universes as far as entertainment is concerned. How can folks get the film and support your work? Well, you can go to todieformovie.com, todieformovie.com. Uh, you'll be able to stream it starting Thursday. Uh, you can pre-order it now for half price. Then on Orange Friday, that's the Friday after Thanksgiving, in honor of the General Lee, because, yes, Virginia, orange cars matter. That's why we <laughs> call it that. <laughs> and here's something else I want you to do. Stop inadvertently supporting those people you do not agree with. Do not support yeah. woke Hollywood at all. Okay? All right. You, hey, you look, to, have to a voice die for and a movie. vote in November. I'm sorry, Chris. I'm, I'm so, I'm just, ah. No, it's all right. <laughs> To, to dieformovie.com, to dieformovie.com, I am, it is, I might even make it a Thanksgiving tradition. John Schneider, appreciate the time, <laughs> sir. I really do.